In this hopefully short video, I will show you how to use the G-Simple Cam software. G-Simple is a very light and easy to use cam software. It can be very helpful to calculate tool path for simple shapes like round and rectangular bulges or pockets. Or, if you wish, you can import a DX file for more complex shapes and use it to generate the CNC toolpath. I will show you an easy first example because I think it will be a good idea for you to understand how to use and after that if you think it serves you good you can download and install the, the software on your computer. So let's suppose you have a block of material, steel for instance, this material has 200 millimeters on each side and 100 millimeters high and you want to remove from the top remove all the material leaving only a round shape like this so this round shape will have uh, 100 millimeters diameter and 30 millimeters high how can we do this on G simple so we will start the setup preparing the block of material so you click on this button and inform the sizes let's put here 200 200 millimeters and high 100 let's leave the material as CK45 You click OK and you can see the block already prepared. On this button you can change and see the isometric view. Let's return to top view. And now let's set the user coordinate system. You click on this button and let's set the coordinate system right in the middle of the part because it will be much easier to draw the round shape if you have already prepared the user coordinate system. So let's put here X 100 right on the middle of 200 side 100 and let's leave z as zero okay so here we have the coordinate user coordinate system the next step is to pick the right tools so we click on this button for holder t01 we click on t01 attach and change here to end mill because we will use this kind of tool and the mill rough first step and let's choose one for instance uh, this 8 millimeters diameter and 40 millimeters long click OK now we have to choose another one for the fine finishing click T02 attach change here to end mill fine and let's choose for instance this one 10 millimeters diameter and 47 47 millimeters long okay so we have already prepared the setup click ok now the next step is not very intuitive but if you follow the instruction will get it right so we want to machine a bulge around the bulge so we click on this button cylindrical bulge gives you a message please select the attachment page for the block or another bulge so we click right inside the green square and it will turn into red that means that it, it has been chosen as the 
parent material. After that, we click again on rod bulge or cylindrical bulge. Let's give here the diameter 150 and height 30 millimeters high. Center. The software will choose the user coordinate system. So the circle will be right in the middle of the, the coordinate system. We don't have to, choose, to change here. These parameters we can leave as it proposes. And now let's change here to T01 and fine finishing tool. Let's change here to T02. Click OK. And the software has already programmed the two path. We can see here isometric view. So the software will remove all the green material and up to the high we set as 30 millimeters. So now we, we return to the top view and we go to G code. Click G code and click make. Do you want to start changes and proceed? Yes. Let's name as cylindrical bulge two because I have another one. Save and it gives you the times so. For the tool T1, you will have new time of 20,064 seconds. And for T2, our holder number 2, you have 625 seconds. You click OK. Let's turn again to isometric. And if you want to check the code, you click on this button green button you can see the code here and if you want to run you can visualize the the two path so uh, we see here that the yellow lines are the g1 two path the dark red Lines are the G0 to path. The visualization here close now for instance if I want to save the two path in a pen drive and load in another CNC machine I go here G code edit and I can see here the two path like line N6 you can see T1 and in the last line, you can check here M30 end of program. So, if you want, you can save this in a pen drive. For instance, save, save as. Let's put here cylindrical bulge. And I can save with CNC extension or TXT if I want. Save. And you can see here the, that was already saved. Now, 
you may be asking yourself, where are the technological parameters of milling? Feed rate, depth of cut, spindle speed. Some of these parameters are already loaded when you choose the material and the tool. Parameters you can change here. You go to G code, make options, and in this window, the software lets you change some of these parameters. For instance, such as the horizontal overlap. In the next video, we'll discuss these parameters. Thank you for watching.